Milwaukee is a city with strong roots and an active and vibrant past, where a small fur trading post morphed into a thriving industrial metropolis over the course of just a handful of decades. Buildings like the Rockwell Automation Headquarters, City Center, and the Milwaukee Central Library stand as monuments to an era of economic boom and the hardworking Americans who would forever change the face of the Lake Michigan shoreline. But while these long-standing gems are easy picks as historic landmarks, the technologies used for heating, cooling, and lighting our buildings have come a long way since the turn of the 20th century. You're limited in some ways by some of the aging um, the stuff that people don't see, you know, the, uh, the aging infrastructure within the buildings that serve the HVAC and the plumbing and the electrical. And so you inherit a, a whole set of problems that on one hand are, are a limiting factor, but they also become an opportunity. Eric Nordine's company recently purchased the landmark Wells building at Wisconsin and Milwaukee and decided to renovate, but wasn't sure what to do about the wasteful cooling system that's been around since the building was built in 1902. You're taking cold domestic water provided by the city, you're running it through your air conditioning, and on the other side it discharges warmer water. It just gets discharged into the sewer like you're basically running a faucet 24-7. So we've got a, a, a water bill that, um, you know, I think would surprise a lot of people. But with financial assistance from the Milwaukee Energy Efficiency, or Me Too program, Eric and his associates are installing a new closed-loop system that engineers at Johnson Control say will save 17 million gallons of water each year. Not only can save a lot of money on water, but it, it just feels like such a tremendous waste. And you see and hear this water just pouring into these site drains and just disappearing and then you know then they've got to treat it all over again. Property owners like Eric Nordine are working together with the Me Too program to rebuild Milwaukee from the inside out and are putting hard-working Milwaukeeans who are struggling in these difficult economic times back to work. Well, everyone wants to see the light at the end that uh, there is always work out there and uh, it's nice to see that guys are getting hired on like myself. Ross Demke has lived in the Milwaukee area his entire life and doesn't see himself anywhere else. He's part of a team from Johnson Controls installing new, more efficient heating and cooling systems at the Edgewater Condos on Prospect. Part of the reason he's working as a steam fitter apprentice today is the jobs created by the Me Too program. I think more and more people are aware of what these incentives are, and I think more jobs are coming about because of it. Me Too makes it simple to invest in sustainability and stimulate the local economy. If you own a home, log on to smartenergypays.com find out how you can have a professional energy consultant come to you and identify ways you can make your home more energy efficient. Your home energy evaluation uses high-tech tools to find opportunities for energy savings by locating the source of drafts and where you're missing insulation in your walls. From adding insulation to upgrading your furnace and water heater, you'll find many ways to save energy and money. The city provides help finding a local participating contractor to do the work as well as affordable financing for the project and the savings you'll see on your energy bill will help offset the monthly cost you'll pay on your loan. Plus, the city offers thousands of dollars in rebates based on how much you cut your energy use. The economics really, really work out, um, but it's just a matter of liquidity and where the fund's going to come from. And, and that, that seems to be the sticking point, I think, a lot of people getting over the hump, and that's where ME2's been so helpful. Commercial and business property owners also have a wide range of different incentives and financing options available to them. For small businesses, ME2 can pay for up to 60% of energy saving improvements, up to $30,000. Large businesses can get rebates covering up to 30% of energy savings improvements, up to $300,000. A visit to smartenergypays.com can help you narrow down your options. And the incentives are provided at no financial burden to the City of Milwaukee's property tax base. Me Too is funded through a grant provided by the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act with the goal of putting Americans back to work while laying the foundation for future growth. Those who have invested in energy efficiency have seen dramatic reductions in what they pay for energy, which, for business owners, translates into stronger profit margins in the long run. The energy costs were just tremendous. And we're talking what we've been saving now through the ME2 program and the new equipment we've put in, we're saving over 40% on our energy costs from what it was when we bought the business almost a year ago. Everett Kamikawa is reinvesting those savings in new signage, new paint, new windows, landscaping, and other upgrades that have brought more neighbors into two clean laundry on West Lisbon. 
His new energy-efficient washing machines also fit bigger loads and can do a more thorough job, according to Daniel Nauman, president of Great Lakes Commercial Sales. He says the Me Too program has increased interest from clients like Everett. It is the tipping point and it gives the uh, people a reason to, um, to move into more efficient equipment. Daniel has had to hire new employees to keep up and Everett is already thinking about doing more work with the Me Too program. They were very interested in working with us as a small mom and pop commercial business in the neighborhood. So we worked with them through the whole process of going through the banks to see if how that would work to get uh, loan buy downs, special interest rates, things like that. And when they changed it to a grant program, that made the program really easy, really affordable, and, and just a no-brainer for us. And while Me Too participants are saving money and helping the environment by investing in energy efficiency, they're also jump-starting the local economy, supporting Milwaukee jobs that can't be outsourced to foreign countries. All Me Too contractors have committed to paying family-supporting wages and hiring your fellow Milwaukeeans. It's a slow time of year. This is the, the changing point uh, mm -hmm. between summer and uh, winter. And, uh, fills in the time, keeps us working. And Me Too is not just putting local workers back to work. We're also helping American manufacturing. These new furnaces are 95% efficient, and they're made right here in the USA. I think there'll be a higher and higher spike. To, uh, these people are aware that business owners and residential alike, that you know there is money to be saved, to be had right here without building a whole new building. Milwaukee will always have its roots in the great industrial technologies and architecture that raised this city on the lake. But the Me Too program is helping home and business owners like you add another chapter to Milwaukee's unique heritage, one of energy efficient 21st century technology, local businesses that thrive on that evolution, and Milwaukeeans who are being put back to work. I work. I work. I work. I work for Me Too. I work for you.